I've been testing Clean My Mac and Mac Keeper for weeks now, and honestly, the results surprised me. Everyone seems to have strong opinions about Mac cleaners, but here's what actually happens when you put them head to head. Let me start with Clean My Mac because this is the one most people recommend. Mac Paul has been polishing this thing for years and it shows. The interface is gorgeous. Everything feels native to Mac OS and the smart scan feature actually works. When I ran it on my cluttered MacBook Pro, it found 12 gigs of junk I didn't even know existed. Here's what I love about Clean My Mac. The uninstaller is ridiculously thorough. It doesn't just drag apps to trash. It hunts down every leftover file and preference. I tested this with Adobe Creative Suite, and it found cache files scattered across six different folders that would have stayed there forever. The malware scanner caught two sketchy browser extensions I forgot I had, and the optimization tools, especially the login items cleanup, made my startup noticeably faster. But here's something nobody mentions. The space lens feature is genuinely useful. It visualizes your storage like a colorful map, showing exactly where your disk space is going. I discovered that Logic Pro had somehow accumulated 8 gigs of temporary recordings I thought I'd deleted. The photo cleanup tool is another standout. It actually scans your photos library and finds blurry shots, screenshots, and similar images you can safely delete. What really impressed me is how clean my Mac integrates with Mac OS. It feels like Apple could have built this. The menu bar widget shows real-time system stats without being intrusive. The updater keeps all your apps current from one place, which sounds boring but saves serious time. And the shredder tool doesn't just delete files. It overwrites them multiple times, so they're genuinely unrecoverable. I know what you're thinking, though. Do you actually need all this? Here's the thing. After using it for a month, I found myself relying on features I initially dismissed. The RAM cleanup became a habit when working with heavy video files. The maintenance scripts, which run automatically in the background, kept my system running smoother than it had in months. But let's be real about the downsides. $39.95 per year isn't cheap, and some features feel like they're solving problems that don't really exist. The mail attachments cleaner saved me maybe 200 megabytes, not exactly groundbreaking. Also, I noticed it can be a bit aggressive with cache clearing, which means some apps took longer to load the first time after cleaning. Most users seem to love the simplicity, but the biggest complaint I see is that it sometimes flags files as safe to delete when they're actually needed. Nothing catastrophic, but it makes you second-guess the recommendations. Now, MacKeeper. This one has a complicated history. A few years back, it had a terrible reputation for aggressive marketing and sketchy practices. But I'll be straight with you. The current version is surprisingly solid. They've completely rebuilt their approach, and it shows in the product. What caught my attention is that MacKeeper goes way beyond just cleaning. You get a full antivirus suite, VPN, identity theft protection, and even 24-7 tech support chat. When I tested the malware scanner, it caught threats that Clean My Mac missed. The VPN works smoothly, and the tech support actually knew what they were talking about. The cleaning features are decent too. It found similar amounts of junk as Clean My Mac, though the interface feels less polished. The duplicate finder is actually better than Clean My Macs. It caught photo duplicates that the other one missed. But here's where MacKeeper gets interesting. The security monitoring is genuinely comprehensive. I tested the stop ad feature, and it blocked way more tracking scripts than I expected. The Find My integration helped me locate my misplaced AirPods twice. And the data encryption tool, while not something most people use daily, gave me peace of mind when working with sensitive client files. The real-time protection is where MacKeeper shines. It's constantly monitoring for suspicious activity, not just when you run a scan. I intentionally downloaded a known malware sample for testing, and MacKeeper caught it before it could execute. That's enterprise-level protection on a consumer product. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, the pricing model. MacKeeper offers three tiers, basic protection at $71, standard at $79, and premium at $89 annually. The basic tier lacks some key features, like the VPN and advanced cleaning tools. Most people tend to need in the standard plan, which puts you at almost double Clean My Mac's cost. Here's something that surprised me though. The customer support is actually excellent. I tested their chat support with a complex question about startup optimization and got a detailed response within minutes. Try getting that level of support from most software companies these days. Here's the catch though. MacKeeper costs between $71 and $89 per year, almost double Clean My Mac. That's a lot for cleaning features that aren't dramatically better. Plus, some users report that the VPN can slow down their connection and the antivirus occasionally throws false positives. The user feedback is mixed. People who want an all-in-one solution love it, but those who just want cleaning tools think it's overkill and overpriced.
So here's my take. If you want a clean, simple Mac cleaner that just works, Clean My Mac is your best bet. It's beautifully designed, reliable, and focused on what it does best. Perfect for people who want to clean up their Mac without thinking too hard about it. The single purchase model is straightforward, no confusing tiers or feature limitations. But if you're looking for comprehensive Mac security and don't mind paying extra for peace of mind, MacKeeper makes sense. You're essentially getting a security suite with cleaning tools thrown in. Just know you're paying premium prices for that convenience. Here's the reality check, though. Most Mac users don't need enterprise-level security. Mac OS is pretty secure out of the box. If you're just browsing the web, using standard apps, and practicing basic digital hygiene, Clean My Mac handles 90% of what you actually need. However, if you're running a business, handling sensitive data, or just want that extra layer of protection, MacKeeper's comprehensive approach might be worth the investment. The VPN alone costs $30 to $50 annually from standalone providers, so you're getting decent value when you factor in all the features. My honest recommendation? Start with Clean My Mac's free trial. If the cleaning features are all you need, stick with it. But if you find yourself wanting antivirus, VPN, and tech support, then MacKeeper might be worth the extra cost. Just don't get caught up in the marketing hype. Focus on what you actually need. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.